Hi family, welcome to yet another video. This is Mr. Pond TV. We are all aware of Teddy Jake's scandal family by he being gay and having something to do with PDD. Now this issue has spread so much that it has made so many people concerned. So many eyebrow has been raised and so many ministers um, have even come and have spoken about it. Now, one of the ministers that we all love so much, that is Prophet Lovi Elias, has also spoken about the same issue. Now, let us listen to what he has to say, family, right after the video. I will come and we will discuss about what he said. Everyone who makes a mistake today, or anyone that people misunderstand, the first order of day is to call them fake, false, and call them a deceiver. But many of you don't understand when you label somebody something that they are not. In the sight of God, you have committed a tremendous crime. The Bible goes as far as to say, don't celebrate when your enemies are falling least the lord be displeased with you and take what he was doing to them and bring it to you you see because we don't understand what the difference is between deception trickery and lies you find today people will come out and say i prophesied this and this will happen and they rejoice in people getting shamed they rejoice on people getting destroyed they rejoice in somebody getting exposed understand if you ever see a man or of or woman of god doing this because many women and men of god do this understand they are not spiritually mature and god never spoke to them that's very interesting. Sorry to disturb you guys. Um, we have our social media platforms where you can actually follow us. You can uh, follow us on our newly opened WhatsApp channel. You can also follow us on Facebook. I'll leave the links in the pinned comment. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Meet you in the next one. Tell me what you think in the comment section. God bless you. Tomorrow we'll be sharing strictly um, revelatory teachings by various ministers. So share your uh, video suggestions to my Telegram and I will respond to you. God bless you. Because you have to understand, and I will tell you this, and I'm sorry, I know a lot of people say this, so oh, judgment is coming to the church, judgment is coming to the church. Let me make it simple for you. Let me make it really simple for you. God cannot judge the church because he judged Jesus. That's good. To show you how many of these guys are foolish, they don't even think. God put every judgment that was ever directed to the church on Jesus. So if God is going to punish the church, he has to explain it to Jesus. He has to explain to Jesus why he crucified him, why he chastised him. The Bible says it pleased him to bruise him, to destroy him, to transfer his anger from us unto him. So why would God who transferred all his anger on Jesus... Who is waiting for the last day rejoice in destroying the church yet the church is his bride you can say god can judge the world even though that is partially true because the judgment of god doesn't come like that god is you have to understand god is so relaxed to people of god please hear me and hear me well god is really really chill right now because he knows the hour is close where he's going to judge everything so he's not going to sit there and worry about you who a little person who's doing something sin is bad Sin is destructive. But anyone who tells you, judgment is coming, judgment is coming, they are lying to you. God cannot punish the church. He cannot punish his bride for sin that he punished Jesus for. The church doesn't purify itself. The church is purified by Christ. So if it is his responsibility to purify the church, why would he punish the church for something the church cannot do by itself? You know, some people just need common sense. So there's a difference between deception, trickery, and lies. When somebody tells you judgment is coming to the church, is lying to you. That's a lie. 
that is a lie because everybody sins and if God judges every sin the same then you also are about to get judged you have to understand that people who continue in their ways they eventually get exposed not because God wanted to expose them but whatever a man does shall he also what reap you keep doing the same thing God is giving you opportunities to come out of it eventually you will reap what you sowed yourself not because God wanted it for you this thing is very simple it's not even complex there are men and women of God who walk in trickery remember all these things I'm saying they are not good but you need to know the difference so that you can understand there are men and women who walk in trickery trickery is when you are a man of God but you want to make yourself great by pushing other people down their life is in public yours isn't are you getting what I'm saying yeah. it's easy to point a finger to TD Jakes but we don't see your life right. you are probably worse than him right. it's so crazy to me that the church follows trends that are happening also in the world the only way you overcome darkness is by preaching light if our father Bishop Jakes has a spirit intercede first to deliver them right. Right. who is beyond the salvation of God Right. Nobody. Now, family, as you all heard from Prophet Obi Elias, his comments is so amazing. Now, this is what I believe the body of Christ needs to do. There's a need for us to understand that we see people who rejoice in the shame of others are not from God, as Prophet Lobi Elias just said. They're not called, you know, they are not matured. A matured Christian or a mature minister will look at the downfall of a friend and will pray and support that is how we should do as a body of christ but we shouldn't victimize each other he also made mention that you see such people in their minds what are they do is they want to judge others they are always judgmental and the church is rather following trends not following Christ. This is what we have to see, family. Now, everyone, Christians are rather following trends, not following Christ. This is what the enemy intend to do. This is what, as Christians, we need to observe and also do. And finally, he made mention that as Christians, we need to pray. Family, this is what prophet Elias said and I believe he's very right he's speaking really from the tune of grace thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video God richly bless you